Hello everybody, I am Balji Dhaka from Pinnacle Coaching Center and in this uh, video presentation we will do uh, 7 to 6 paper code of tier 2 test series and this is previous year question paper and uh, as you know we will cover each and every question of previous year papers as well as uh, which is part of uh, 80, 80 test series tier 2 with video explanation 40 math and 40 english question number 26 in this uh, presentation we will do from question number 26 to 50 so question number 26 question is given the area in square unit of a triangle formed by formed by the graph of equation x4 y3 3 x plus 4 y is equal to 12 if you find such kind of question what is this question question is given x is equal to 4 it means x is equal to 4 this is x axis this is y axis this is y and minus y from this side this is 0 0 0 here x is 4 and here y is 3 y 3 you can take 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 now this is the line because here 4 x is 4 y is 0 and x is 0 y is 3 y is 3 0 3 4 0 this is the code and then 3x plus 4y 3x 4y it means if i put here y is equal to 0 then 3x is equal to 3x is equal to 12 and x is equal to 4 and if x is 0 then y 4y is equal to 12 y is equal to 3 so coordinate would be y 3 4 3 4 x you can say this and y3 this so this would be the coordinate meeting point you can say this would be the triangle you can say this is 4 this is 3 3 4 90 degree Pythagoras stipulate that is 5 we have to find the area of this triangle we have to find the area of this triangle you can say 1 by 2 this is base 4 height 3 then area would be 6 6 square unit answer is 3 next question question number 27 what is the question and this is uh, you can say the most frequently asked one of the most frequently asked question of SSC, CGL. if 2p is equal to this this is the expression and we have to find the value of this now when you find such kind of question what you have to do is that 2p you can cross multiply this so if you cross multiply then you will get 8p 8p is equal to p square minus 2p plus 1 and then we have to find the value of p plus 1 by p so if i divide by p to entire expression then we will get divided by p divided by p divided by p and p then we will have p minus 2 plus 1 by p is equal to 8 so this will be cancel so p plus 1 by p is equal to 10 p plus 1 by p is equal to 10 answer is d question number 28 and what is the question if the ordinate and abscissa of the point k um, comma 2k minus 1 be equal then the value of a k then the value of a k if the ordinate and abscissa of the point k is equal to 2k minus 1 these are equal in other words 2k minus k is equal to 1 in other words k is equal to 1 we have to find the value of k k is equal to 1 answer is c question number 29 a b c is a triangle in which in which d e is parallel to b c d e is parallel to b c and a d and d b ratio is a d that is 5 d b that is 4 then d e and b c what will be the ratio of d e and b very important property very important what is the property you can say 5 by 9 y 9 this divided by entire this you can say a d divided by a b that is 5 by 9 d e d e and b c is equal to d and b c the ratio of d e and b c we have to find d 5 by 9 5 is to 9 d is the answer 
So these questions are based on property. You can see most of the questions that are coming. Question number thirty: The radii of two, the radii of two concentric circle are seventeen centimeter and twenty-five centimeter. This is you can write here. Twenty cent, seventeen centimeter and twenty-five centimeter. A straight line PQRS intersects the larger circle at the point P and S, and the intersects the smaller circle at point Q and R. Point Q and R, and larger circle PQRS. PQRS. This is the straight line. If QR is QR, this is sixteen. Then the length of PS. We have to find the length of this. Now this so, uh, <coughs> the radius would be equal to. Ready, this is seventeen, and this would be this is sixteen. It means this would be eight and eight because from the center perpendicular drawn at the code will divide the code into equal part. This is property. So eight seventeen and triplet fifteen. Eight, fifteen, seventeen. This is the triplet, Pythagoras triplet. You have to remember many famous, important Pythagoras triplet. And what what are these? One, one root two, three, four, five, six, eight, ten, nine, twelve, fifteen, twenty, eight, fifteen, seventeen, seven, twenty, twenty, uh, twenty-four, twenty-five. These are famous triplet. You must remember all these. So this will be very useful to find the solution always. This is eight. This is fifteen, and this is seventeen. So if this is fifteen, and this is equal to this is equal to this is radius which is given twenty-five. So this is twenty-five. Fifteen twenty-five. It means this would be equal to twelve. Why twelve? Because this triplet will be used. You can say here. You can write fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. This is also triplet. Fifteen, twenty-five. It means this would be twenty. If this is twenty, then this would be twenty because this will divide into two equal part. Twenty plus twenty, forty. D should be the answer. So from Pythagoras triplet, we have solved this question in an easy manner without calculation. AB is a diameter. AB is a diameter of a circle with center O, and the tangent at C meets AB, produced at Q. If CAB is 34 degree, then the measure of CBA. AB is the diameter of the circle. Let's draw a circle, and AB diameter. You can say this is O. The tangent at C meets AB. Produce at Q. If CAB is CAB, this is meeting point. The tangent at C, tangent at C, meets AB. Produce at Q. This is Q. If CAB, CAB, this is CAB, is thirty four. Thirty four. Then the measure of CBA. We have to find the value of CBA. We have to find the value of this CBA. Now, angle formed in a half circle is 90 degree. It means this should be both of some uh, some of both these two should be 90 degree because this is 90 degree. The total angle is 180, so it should be 56. Because 56 plus 34 is uh, will be equal to 90. Answer is A. Next was question number 32. For an equilateral triangle, ratio of the in radius and x radius would be this equilateral triangle. Ratio of in radius and out radius would be how much? So as you know, centroid will divide. The median into two, two is to one ratio. So in radius is one, 
and x radius that is this would be circumference radius would be 2 1 is to 2 should be the answer this should be remember also you should remember this question number 33 if a and b are the length of the side of a right triangle whose hypotenuse is 10 and whose area is 20 then the value of a plus b square would be how much this is given is and b and this is 10 this is 10 in other words you can say a square plus b square is equal to 100 a square plus b square is 100 and here the value of this it means a square plus b square plus 2ab we have to find 2ab we have to find now as you know 1 by 2 into a into b is equal to 20 in other words ab is equal to 10 because this is given 10 is given area is given area is 1 by 2 8ab is equal to 100 it is AB is given which is 10. So 10 into 2, 20. A square plus B square that is 100. 100 plus 20, 100. 20. Here is, but here we have to find A square plus B square. AB is equal to 40. Sorry, AB is equal to 40. Here it is 40 because this is, and 2AB would be equal to 80. 80. So, 100 plus 80, 100 plus 80 should be 180 answer, not 120, 180 should be the answer. Easy question, however, in easy question, there are very high chances of silly mistake. So, easy question become equal to difficult question because chances in easy question can be due to some silly mistake and that you will find in your, uh, when you will uh, attempt question paper at potash portal, when you will find very Easy question you have made wrong. Circumference of a triangle is 24 and the circumference of its inner circle is 44. Area of the triangle would be. In fact, this type of variety question, two questions have come in this particular question paper. This is real question paper and two questions on this pattern have come. So, this circumference of the triangle, what is he is saying that the perimeter of this triangle is 24. And circumference of circle in radius, in radius means this is in radius, in radius. So 2 pi r is equal to 44. In other words, 2 into 2 to 2 by 7 into r is equal to 44. r is equal to 7. It means this is 7, this is 7, and this is 7. So we have to find the area, area of the triangle. So a, b, and c. What we have to use again 1 by 2 base that is a into height 7 plus a 1 by 2 base into height plus 1 by 2 base into height. In other words, you can say 1 by 2, you can take 7 by 2 as common. You can to take 7 by 2 as common here 7 by 2 and a plus b plus c a plus b plus c is equal to 24 you can write here into 24 so 12 into 7 84 should be the answer answer is b this variety question two question in this particular set have come question number 35 if the length of each of two equal side of isosceles triangle is 10 centimeter this is 10 cent this is 10 and this is 10 and the adjacent angle is 45 this is 45. So then the area of the triangle would be how much? Area of the triangle. So 1 by 2 into base that is 10 into height that is 10. And if if the angle is, what is the question? Question is given in this format. If this is 10, this is 10. Question is given in this format and this is 45 angle. This is 45 angle. So in other words, In other words, this is 45, 45, you can say this is 90. In other words, uh, you can write here sine 45. When it is given 60 degree, 45 or anything, because when it is uh, 90 degree, sine 90 which is equal to 1, so it will be equal to, you can say right angle triangle. But when angle is 
40 uh, instead of 90 it is 45 then use sin 45 this is the formula and you should remember this when it is 30 degree then write sin by sin 30 degree so sin 45 is equal to you can say 1 by 2 so 50 into 1 by 2 50 into 1 by 2 and if you rationalized you will find 25 root 2 c should be the answer this formula you have to remember in case of a angle is given instead of a right angle question number 36 let p and q be two point on a circle with center o if two center of the circle through p and q meet at a with p a q 48 degree then a p q would be how much question is when p and q be two point on a circle with center o this is center O, P, Q, these are two point. If two tangent of the circle, these are two tangent. Meet at A, this is A, P, A, Q, P, A, Q, 48 degree. And then A, P, Q, A, P and Q. Almost similar kind of question already have come. So, A, P and Q but we have to find the value of this note this we have to find the value of this this is 48 this is 90 degree this is 90 degree why 90 degree because this is tangent tangent is perpendicular to the center uh, at the center so if the 90 90 180 this is 48 then this would be equal to 180 minus 48 and 180 minus 48 that is 132 if this is 132 and then in this triangle we have to find the value of a p we have to find the value of a p q a and p and q a p q we have to find the value of this we have to find so use instead this 48 and the tangents are equal this is property tangent are equal from a point outside the center so this uh, this angle and this angle should be equal if this is 48 it means these two angle would be 132 so one angle would be equal to 132 divided by 2 66 should be the answer 66 should be the answer question number 37 length of the diagonal of a rectangle with side 4 m and 3 m should would be length of the diagonal of rectangle side 4 and 3 is equal to 3 4 5 this is triplet very easy question very easy question remember this if you are not able to cover all the question of the paper due to the lack of time and then you suddenly you found that this was the question in the last how how do you feel it means you should cover all the question it means if any question is little bit difficult uh, difficulty level is high then first you leave that question and attempt all easy question and you know you have attempted all easy question then focus on comparatively harder question next question question number 38 Question number 38. If the sides of a triangle are in the ratio 3, 3, 5 by 4, 13 by 4, 13 by 4, you can write here. <coughs> 5, 12, 13. This is Pythagoras triplet. 5, 12, 13. Pythagoras triplet. It means equilateral uh, right angle triangle remember pythagoras triplet are very very important you should remember memorize all important pythagoras triplet and you when you go to our chapter wise lesson video le uh, lectures i have emphasized very much on that pythagoras triplet and uh, and have told each and everything about triplets concept question number 39 the value of satisfying this equation we have to find the value of this which will satisfy this equation so 
सो हेयर यू कैन राइट टू वन माइनस को स्क्वेयर थीटा बिकॉज साइन स्क्वेयर थीटा प्लस को स्क्वेयर थीटा इज इक्वल टू वन वी हैव यूज दैट थ्री कोस थीटा यू कैन राइट हेयर टू एंड देन टू टू को स्क्वेयर थीटा माइनस थ्री कोस थीटा यू कैन राइट हेयर जीरो इन अदर वर्ड्स टू को स्क्वेयर थीटा चेंज द साइन टू को स्क्वेयर थीटा माइनस वी हैव डन प्लस प्लस माइनस वी हैव डन प्लस थ्री कोस थीटा एंड प्लस वी हैव डन माइनस विच इक्वल टू टू सो टू इंटू टू फोर इट मीन्स टू को स्क्वेयर थीटा प्लस फोर कोस थीटा माइनस कोस थीटा माइनस टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो टू यू कैन टेक कॉमन टू कोस थीटा कोस प्लस टू एंड माइनस वन कोस थीटा प्लस टू इन अदर वर्ड टू कोस थीटा माइनस वन एंड कोस थीटा प्लस टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो द इक्वेशन विल बिकम कोस थीटा इज इक्वल टू वन बाई टू फ्रॉम दिस सो कोस थीटा वन बाई टू इज विच इज इक्वल टू थीटा इज सिक्सटी डिग्री आंसर इज ए नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी ए बी सी आर द लेंथ ऑफ द थ्री साइड ऑफ ए ट्रेंगल ए बी सी इफ ए बी सी आर रिलेटेड बाय द रिलेशन ए स्क्वेयर प्लस बी स्क्वेयर प्लस सी स्क्वेयर इज इक्वल टू ए बी प्लस बी सी प्लस सी ए देन द वैल्यू ऑफ साइंस स्क्वेयर ए प्लस साइंस स्क्वेयर बी प्लस साइंस स्क्वेयर सी इज इक्वल टू हाउ मच नाउ दिस क्वेश्चन यू कैन सॉल्व इजली बाय पुटिंग वैल्यू इफ ए स्क्वेयर आई पुट केयर इफ ए इज इक्वल टू टू If a is equal to two, then it will become four. B is equal to two. If I put a is equal to two, b is equal to two, and c is equal to two, then this equation will satisfy because here four plus four, eight plus uh, eight, uh, four, twelve, four, 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 twelve. So this equation is satisfied when a and b and c we have put the value two. In other words, two, two, and two. A, b, and c. You can say this is equilateral triangle. Because side are equal here, we have uh, assumed it, or in fact you will find it, which is actually 60 degree, 60 degree, and 60 degree. Now sine squares a 60 degree would be equal to root 3 by 2, that is 3 by 4. Square of root 3 by 2 is equal to 3 by 4, then 3 by 4, and then 3 by 4. You can say 9 by 4 should be the answer is D. Very easy. You can use by putting value. This is the most important trick in uh, trigonometry by putting value. If a sine theta plus b cos theta is equal to c, then a cos theta minus b sine theta is equal to. Such kind of question you can put. You can solve by squaring and adding. So squaring of this would you will find a square sine square theta plus b square cos square theta plus you add this cos square theta. In fact, uh, two sine theta you can also write two a b. Sine theta, sine theta, and cos theta. Two a b sine theta and cos theta plus now right a square, cos square theta plus b square, co sine square theta minus two a b sine theta and cos theta is equal to c square and plus you can consider is equal to x square. You can consider it is equal to x. Is equal to x. So we have written here x square. You can cancel this. We will find here a square, a square, then sine square theta, and here you will find cos square. Similarly, you will find b square, cos square theta, plus sine square theta. Is equal to c square plus x square. Sine square theta plus cos square theta is one. It means a square plus b square, and here minus c square is equal to x square. X would be equal to a square plus b square minus c square. A square plus b square. A square plus b square minus c square root. X is equal to root. So answer should be c. Next question, question number forty-two. If sine theta plus cos theta is equal to root two sine theta nine 90 degree minus theta, then value of cos would be equal to how much? Now, in this question, 
sin this is equal to cos theta you can write here sin theta and divide because this is cos theta this is cos theta divide each term by cos theta then sin theta by cos theta sin theta by cos theta would be equal to let me write directly tangent theta plus cos theta divided cos theta that is 1 is equal to cos theta it will be root cos theta cos theta divided by cos theta that is 1 it, it means it is equal to root 2 tangent theta would be equal to root 2 minus 1 and cot is opposite of this then it will change sign when you rationalize it you will get root 2 plus 1 when you get rationalized sign will change you multiply it and divide by root 2 plus 1 then ultimately in denominator you will get 1 question number 43 what is the question if theta is a positive acute angle and 3 second square theta plus tangent square theta is equal to 5 then the value of cos 2 theta would be how much if theta is positive acute angle and now secant square theta plus tangent square theta is equal to 5 by 3 and as you know secant square theta minus tangent square theta is equal to 1 is equal to 1 so you will find 2 secant square theta is equal to 5 by 3 plus 1 5 by 3 and here you will write plus 1 in other words you can write 8 by 3 8 by 3 or secant square theta is equal to 4 by 3 secant is theta is equal to 2 by root 3 2 by root 3 secant theta and cos theta would be equal to root 3 by 2 because the cos is opposite of a secant root 3 by 2 and cos root by uh, root 3 by 2 is equal to 30 degree 30 degree 30 plus 2 60 degree cos 60 degree is equal to 1 by 2 1 by 2 should be the answer question number 44 and what is this question if x cos square theta into sine uh, 60 degree theta and tangent square 45 we have to find the value of x so you can write here directly x into cos theta cos 30 root 3 by 2 so square of that would be equal to 3 by 4 sin 60 root 3 by 2 is equal to tangent 1 square of 1 is equal to tangent 40 by 1 square of 1 is equal to 1 and secant 60 secant is opposite of cos cos 60 is 1 by 2 secant is it means 2 and cosecant 60 degree cos sin 60 degree sin 60 root 3 by 2 so cosecant root be 2 into root 3 2 into root 3 in other words root 3 root 3 x is equal to 8 by 3 x is equal to 8 by 3 c is the answer question number 45 if tangent alpha is 2 then we have to find the value of this tangent alpha is 2 this by this is equal to 2 it means it will be two, uh, 2 into 2 square of 2 plus 1 root 5 root 5 now write here cosecant alpha square alpha cosecant is root 5 by 2 alpha would be equal to 5 by 4 uh, square of would be equal to 5 by 4 minus minus here you will find secant square theta secant is cos is uh, cos is 1 by root 5 second is root uh, 5 by 1 and square of that will be equal to 5 by 1 5 by 1 now here you write 5 by 4 plus 5 so here 4 5 minus 20 and here you will find 4 5 plus 20 in other words 4 for cancel minus 15 by 25 3 by 5 should be on minus 3 by 5 should be the answer answer is a b question number 46 if sin theta plus 30 degree is equal to 3 root 12 then the value of cos square theta will be how much now here you can write sin if i write here square square both sides then we will have 9 by 12 in other words 3 by 4 so 3 by 4 means this is 3 then this would be equal to 4 
और इन अदर वर्ड्स टू बी राइट नो नीड टू राइट देयर साइन स्क्वेयर साइन एंड थीटा प्लस थर्टी वुड बी इक्वल टू थ्री बाय फोर थ्री बाय रूट थ्री बाय टू रूट ऑफ बोथ साइड विल गेट रूट थ्री बाय टू एंड रूट थ्री बाय टू इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी डिग्री इट मीन्स थीटा इज इक्वल टू थर्टी डिग्री सो दैट थर्टी प्लस थर्टी सिक्सटी साइन सिक्सटी इज इक्वल टू रूट थ्री बाय टू थीटा इज सिक्सटी डिग्री आंसर इज थीटा इज थर्टी डिग्री आंसर इज को स्क्र थीटा इट मीन्स कोस थर्टी एंड कोस थर्टी इज रूट थ्री बाई टू एंड स्क्र ऑफ दिस वुड बी इक्वल टू थ्री बाई फोर थ्री बाई फोर सी शुड बी द आंसर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी सेवन इन ए राइट एंगल ट्रेंगल ए पी क्यू आर पी क्यू आर पी आर इज हाइपोटीन्यूस ऑफ लेंथ ट्वेंटी पी आर क्यू पी आर क्यू दैट इज थर्टी डिग्री Area of triangle would be how much? Area of triangle would be how much? Now, if you, I know this and I know this, I will be able to find the value of this. In other words, sine you can write here h, for example, h by twenty and tangent thirty. And tangent thirty is equal to one by root three. One by so h is equal to twenty by root three. Twenty by root three. And if I know this and I एच बाई ट्वेंटी सॉरी एच बाई ट्वेंटी विच इज साइन थर्टी एंड साइन थर्टी इज इक्वल टू वन बाई टू सो एच इज इक्वल टू टेन हेयर आई विल राइट एच इक्वल टू टेन इफ दिस इज टेन दिस इज ट्वेंटी आई विल बी एबल टू फाइंड दिस इज रूट एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो फाइंड दिस टेन बाई एक्स विच इज टेन जेंट थर्टी एंड टेन जेंट थर्टी इज वन बाई रूट थ्री सो एक्स इज इक्वल टू टेन रूट थ्री टेन रूट थ्री एक्स इज इक्वल So one area would be equal to one by two base which is equal to ten root three and height which is ten. In other words, fifty root three should be the answer. Fifty root three should be the answer. Answer is A. Question number forty-eight. Question number forty-eight and it is given four cos square theta minus four root three cos theta plus three is equal to zero. Then the value of zero we have to find. So from here clearly we can see this is the square of anything and what can be the so it can be square of what two cos theta minus root three. If you do square of this, you will be able to find four cos square theta. Yes, then plus three this and then minus two into two cos theta into three that is four root three cos theta. Two cos uh, <coughs> now. Is equal to zero. In other words, two cos theta is equal to minus root three is equal to zero. Or in other words, cos theta is equal to root three by two. Root three by two is equal to cos thirty thirty degree. What is the question? What is the value of this? Thirty degree is the answer. Forty nine x plus y x y very easy question. X y is given three two. In other if x is three three plus two five. Three minus two one five ratio one five ratio one A should be the answer. Very easy question. Sometimes do silly mistake in such kind of question also. If fifty percent of x fifty percent of x is equal to thirty percent of a y thirty percent of y. What is the ratio x and y? X by y is equal to three by five. X is three then y is two five three or five ratio. Answer is a D. D should be the answer. Now, through this presentation, we have covered till now 50 questions. In the next presentation, we will cover questions from 51 to 75. Thank you very much for watching this presentation. All the best.